Hey there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do a reading for you all for your next uh, 48 hours and for whenever this actually applies to you or when you feel like it applies to you. So, Aries, calling in your spirit guides, your angels, higher self, higher power. We open, open up to energies for your highest timeline. Okay, for Aries. Messages to help Aries. General reading, next 48 hours. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and this deck, by the way, is the um, archetype deck. So you have Thanatos and uh, the lover. So choices, decisions, big choices, big decisions. The swan, kind of well known for choosing a mate for life. Um, so this could be a Gemini, this could be a Scorpio. That's so very general though, not everybody. So Thanatos though is about an ending, an ending, a closure. Um, It's so weird because I'm, I'm feeling the energy of getting stuck in the web, getting, getting, the, so feeling like that there's a few more loose ends, <clears throat> a few more loose ends that we need to tie up or some things that weren't priority at the moment. So now we have to go back and, and take a look at the, like these other things, um, yeah, the lovers, it, it, this might represent your soulmate energy. It could represent soulmate energy that you're feeling. They both, you know, so we, we, you could have put, you know, one door ended in one relationship and then it opened in another. So I, mean, I think that's what this is that almost saying is like, don't worry because. When one door closes, one door opens, especially in the realm of love. It seems like you have a big choice decision coming up, decision to make. Thanatos also, hmm, maybe um, transformation. I'm going to stick more with the, that it means an ending to something or a closure, closing a chapter. Um, as Thanatos is, is quite, is simply death. It is translated to mean death. So let's see, guys, let's get, let's get some other cards. This is, um, the Epiphany deck and sacred signs and symbols. And it isn't a love it reading per se. It is a general reading, but I like to pull these cards out every now and then, um, if I see something like the lover's card come out. Oh goodness. These cards, these cards are a mess. They're a mess. They're a mess. Okay, for Aries. What do you have for Aries? Yeah, so, and, and and this can also be partnerships. Let me tripping over my words. It can also be partnerships, this um, lover's card. So, be ready to take control and lead. Be ready to take control and lead. And with the boots, I'm feeling increased effort if you want to have more, um, if you want to have like more productivity to increase productivity. There's another feeling here. Um, I think this is like a separate message for somebody about not feeling like you're like feeling like you, you're stepping in the shadow of, um, 
somebody else, like maybe father figure or I don't know. There's something going on with uh, regards to like inheritance or something or um, passing on. I don't know. It's it's like it's it's the fear of um, being drowned out by somebody's shadow that feels like that person has passed on. It feels like so I I don't know. That's like a separate message. Like I said, separate. Coffee beans, snooze, wake up call, a fresh start. A fresh start. Fresh start to your day. Pink box. Gift, keepsake, a remembrance. Gift, keepsake, a remembrance. All right. Oh, I didn't even say what I was doing. I'm doing um, a tarot spread here in just a second after the Oracle cards. By the way, Aries, sorry about that. All right, angel number message for Aries. What do you have? Angel number message for Aries. That one wants to come out. It wants to come out. This one wants to come out too. I don't know why. Suitcase, burdens, baggage, escapism. Burdens, baggage, or escapism. Mm, nice. They have 88. Oh, and 22. Wow. Nice, nice numbers, right? Nice numbers. 88, I am wealthy. And 22, I am aligned. Um, 88, I'm wealthy is that you're on the cusp of having like a very abundant life. Um, and, and it's talking about all things, um, numerous opportunities for success and achievement in all areas, such as spiritual, financial abundance to, um, family abundance. So 88, I am wealthy. And master number 22, you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish i am aligned i am aligned and... <clears throat> then we will get something from the lover's oracle since you got that lover card the lover Aries, here's your um, picture, and and you know what's interesting is it reminds me of the back of a, so like a, an angel will be right here, and it's the back like we're seeing the back dress, the very low part of the back, and then that's what it looks like, and and that makes sense. So it says the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. So a new path is now av available to you. The past is behind you. The past is behind you. All right. So I'm going to turn now to the Dreamkeepers Tarot and we're going to pull a Celtic cross for you. And I'm going to do as intuitively um, as I can a brief or general the sign of Aries for the next 48 hours or whenever it resonates. With the Dream Keepers Tarot. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for Aries? Um, Celtic Cross, General Spread. What messages do you have for Aries? Tower in Reverse, um, which is what I'm going to go with here. Tower in the Reverse. Yeah, so um, it's rebuilding. It's 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 like it's like the sign that says under construction, um, under maintenance. Like there's something that is um, there. Their tower is really interesting. Look at that. 
the creatrix on the bottom. That's interesting. Yeah, their their tower is pretty interesting. So, you know what? Let's go into their book and actually uh, just see. What, oh my gosh, that's so weird. Like we went right to it, guys. So, I'm gonna read this as from the book with because it just makes me feel like this is gonna explain more. I don't know. Okay, so let me see. Uh, okay. Possibly a false alarm. Could be up, it says, could be averting disaster, or it could be re um, a resistance to change. The tower card representing the moment of sudden upheaval. So, dramatic changes... Normally, they say that normally the tower is going to show up when it's long term, like things that if you haven't changed, then the universe will help you change that, that events. I mean, if something if something is divinely for you, then it's going to be divinely for you and it's going to go that way. No matter what, if, it, if it's your destiny, it's your destiny. So. Some of you are re rebuilding. Some of you all, this was a false start or false alarm. Okay, the challenge is the Knight of Wands and the reverse. Um, if this is like an action, describing an action that would be a challenge, it would be a careless decision, um, a mistake, uh, missing a very important but small detail, um, reckless, wild, wild, wild child. So Knight of Wands, if it can represent that type of action, if it's in the reverse, it can also represent a person who maybe is a challenging person from the past coming back. Um, because if it's in reverse, look, this person has done things that have hurt so bad that yeah, rebuilding would be a big challenge here. Not that it can't be done. It's just, it's like dealing with a long-standing problem. It could be a Leo, Aries, or Sag, too, that's talking about. The heart of the matter is the King of Cups in the reverse. It's kind of like at the root of this tower, um in the reverse. So it's somebody's, I feel it's somebody's anger that got the best of them. And then that got the best of a relationship. Or the inability to handle the emotions at the time, um, because it was hard enough to handle the emotions in life in general at that time. When the tower came down. So King of Cups in the reverse is, is a really a big, big need to get something under control that when it comes to your mood, your emotions. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but there's a need to understand where these behaviors, thoughts, and actions have been coming from. Past energy. Nice, the Empress energy. So you may be dealing with like the uh, mother energy or um, you, this might have been you in this spot. It's like feeling like you're unstoppable with the Empress energy. Um, fertile time. So a time for birthing things to life and maybe something came to life here in the past. Um, that does go along with wealthy. <laughs> with I am wealthy, the Empress would be wealthy. Beauty. Shh. Okay, sorry, just making sure she went good. Keep on and keep on. The now moment is the eight of wands in the reverse. Communication is pretty poor. Um, maybe there's none. Okay. 
communication. Oh, uh, the way I, it may have to do with not being able to communicate emotions very well. Um, yeah, something about the communication, but it's it's the way that feelings are communicated and and thought. Yeah, the way that our feelings and emotions are communicated. So finding it hard to communicate, possibly, possibly. Um, the sun in the reverse and the two of pentacles. Well, this is like, okay, this is saying I'm getting exhausted because this is near future energy. And this is truly saying like I'm running out of energy. Two of pentacles, I'm doing so much possibly doing so much yourself that you're running out of you're just running out of energy so it's not sustainable for a long time and i think that's the big message here with these cards coming out together All right so the card that represents how you feel ace of swords ace of swords you feel like you could get clear on some things with people you could clear you need to clear up something with someone possibly need to smooth something over butter up smooth something over with someone possibly truth and clarity maybe with a mother energy or you know creatrix energy in the environment the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So someone has stopped um, giving energy to someone outside of a, a relationship. So somebody that was maybe trying to come into a relationship uh, that was like if somebody was committed. Um, this is withdrawing that energy after finding out some truths. Or this could be about, I'm feeling Capricorn energy, strong. Um, also, because this is general, so it doesn't have to be love reading. I'm also picking up um, that the Queen of Pentacles and the surrounding is you and living the way that you want to. And having like what you're used to. And I think there may be some things that um, that we're going to have to withdraw giving energy to um, because of our resources or because of just that's the best way to handle this. So this is a, like a motherly energy in the environment. And it may be, it may be motherly energy past issues here because um, the Queen of Pentacles is really matron-like. It, she she does like takes care of the stuff at home and maybe home is what the tower in reverse is being rebuilt maybe that's it hopes or fears is the five of ones in the reverse so i would say that's like honestly there's no competition there's no competition if you go in this full force that's what it's that's what it feels like with the in the reverse it's like it's trying to tell us there's no competition in your hopes here the outcome a projected outcome okay i'll take it <laughs> i'll take it that really could be the millionaire's card because I always take it as like beating out the competition or no competition. And here, oh my gosh, I'm getting the tie in between the Empress energy and this Queen of Swords going after what she really wants. Ten of Pentacles, well, it's focusing a lot on your comfort uh, with your money. <laughs> Long-term family legacy type energy long term something that you have built and it's possibly from the past here something is just a huge success and and i feel like it takes off or it becomes even more solid when you're very targeted 
uh, about what you want and your intentions. And um, there's something about the Queen of Swords and the Upright of being able to handle loving things, um, having warmth and compassion, but still being able to like sift out the truth here. So being very like, I will cut out what's not good for me. And when it comes to my family's long-term stability, money, more than enough, more than enough with the, the um, Ten of Pentacles, that's more than enough. Bounty, the star on the bottom. So, yeah. Yep, pretty great reading. There you go, Aries. Pretty great reading. And this is tea leaves. Looks like you are in position of authority here and need to get control over your emotions or mood. <laughs> Throne, position of authority. Bird perched, waiting for news package or letter. Dogs getting together with friends. Broom, a new home, a new attitude. And Quill, get back to the basics. All right, so that's what I've got. Thanks, guys. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.